Hello. Um, so finally, I got. I finally got spokes, and to do my wheel, and and so I was able to uh, finish the wheel, the Kinderley uh, swap uh, system. Um, the gear hub. So I got my spokes, I did the lacing of the wheel, was a pain, never again, even because my 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 rim is a 20 inch rim, uh, so it was very a different size, unusual size uh, compared to a normal wheels. Not only that, but the the rim is 10 inch, 10, uh, 10 centimeters, so 100 millimeter wide, and uh, it's 20 inches. Uh, this is the swap uh, system, and uh, so after I laced the the rim, now I wanted to show you how to uh, to insert the Kinderney. Uh, gear hub. Um, so the, this Kinder near hub comes with uh, uh, a 193, I think. Uh, this brake, which goes right here, you can see, and it basically attaches to the to the rim. So the very unique thing about this, the Kinderney uh, gear hub and the swap system is that you don't have a hub when you make the wheel, when you lay, lace the wheel, you see, it's empty. This allows you to have, for example, uh, different rims. So let's say that uh, in a normal scenario you might have a alloy uh, rim, uh, maybe you want to swap to a, a carbon rim. In the normal scenario, you have to have two different wheels with two different hubs uh, for two different type of uh, rim, like a carbon one and aluminum one. Okay, with this system, you basically have to buy just this this cage, the swap system, and you have the same uh, gear hub for your wheel which is a new concept for bikes, I think. Never saw one of this before, this kind of system. And you basically keep this one, you buy you buy another one of this, and you have a, you can build a second uh, wheel. Now I'm going to mount the gear hub and the um, disc rotor. Um, and it's pretty simple. You insert the gear hub and the disc. Now, uh, bear in mind that this disc is made uh, custom for this gear hub, so you don't. Ha you can use normal disc brakes. Uh, you need to have this kind of discs. Okay. So let me insert all the screws. There are two, four, six, seven screws. Actually, yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay, I'll put this one for last. Okay, and basically the the hub screws inside uh, the swap system. I uh, hope you see. check if I'm, I'm on in the camera. Yes, I am. Okay, so. And you just, uh, you know, go all the way, the screws, and grab it. It's kind of just a pain.
screw here. demonstration so there is no need to tighten all the screws okay so basically that's it it's mounted so the hub is mounted to the wheel um, there is a torque arm here and um, also let me grab The axle. Let me put down this. And I have a very long axle. That's it. Um, and that's it. This is this is the system. Uh, here you mount the um, the cables with the system that changes the gears and is hydraulic uh, and this goes to of course to the front of the bike um, I, I know that there, they, they have different sizes of discs um, I think there is a 213 230 millimeter um, and this is 193 as I as I said before these are custom for this hub so you cannot use the normal ones unfortunately um, what else well for this uh, wheel um, the, the spokes length was 143 uh, no, 149. Uh, but of course, this is a 20 inches uh, wheel, so you need to find one of those uh, um, online calculators to uh, check your uh, spoke length uh, size. Um, I used one that is called, uh, let me find it, uh, Wheel Pro. That, uh, co.uk so I'm going to put in the description the the site um, and um, you know since, since this system is very different from the other ones uh, um, you know there are some measures that are different for example the rim is metric uh, so the distance between the center of the wheel and the sides are the same on both usually in a normal wheel is a bit off um, the only thing that um, they suggested uh, Kinder suggested is to have spokes that have uh, they have 135 uh, inclination of the uh, spoke here where attaches to the uh, to the hub the swap hub whatever it's called uh, so 135 um, and what else is 32 32 spokes I wish they had 36 but they said it's okay um, I saw some uh, mountain bike uh, the, um, they have this kind of uh, gear hub and so it seems fine I saw jumps and you know they were doing uh, uh, all sorts of things so it seems okay uh, so now I just need to install it on on the bike when I'm done with my project and um, and see how it works. Uh, until now it seems pretty okay. I need to balance of course this wheel because I done it uh, manually so it was a, a real pain. Mm. I hope I never <laughs> have to do it again. The, the Put the spokes in on a rim. It's just, just uh, a pain. 
Okay, that's it. If you have any question, please uh, put a comment on the uh, on a comment uh, under the video. Uh, subscribe to my channel and put a like. Uh, and uh, I'll see you next video. Thank you very much. Bye.